Big time matchups, a 40-point game, and college coaches from the likes of the ACC, Big Ten, and SEC watching Late Point Live Showcase 2 delivered. Corey McCartney here to wrap it up with Dan McDonald. Dan, it's good to see you. Thank you, Corey. There were high-level stars throughout the Champion Center over the showcases two days, and I realize with this much talent, I'm asking you what to do here is difficult and paring it down. But give me a rundown of the five players to you that really stood out this weekend. And so I'd have to start pretty obviously with like J.D. Davis. And I mean, every time that kid took the court all weekend, man, like we were doing our best to keep the crowds under control because everybody wants to see the kid play. I mean, he's as athletic as you can be, like 6'4". He's a really, really good passer. Um, he's just phenomenal. And there, I mean, it's not hard to see why schools like Kansas and LSU and Memphis and then obviously Alabama and Auburn are all just dying to get the kid. And um, he was spectacular all weekend. Yesterday, to kind of finish up the tournament, we ended up adding in TSF to play against those guys, which, you know, put two of the top point guards in the country. So JD's a top 2021 point guard. Bruce Thornton's one of the top point guards in the 2022 class. So we set that game up yesterday just as a one-off exhibition game. And it did not disappoint. Bruce came in, hadn't played in a couple months in a game because TSF kind of took a little bit of a break. But Man, he was spectacular, as he always is. He was our battle for Georgia MVP in the 15 division last year and just keeps getting better and better. He's just everything you could possibly want in a point guard. He can score when you need him to. He can set up his guys. He defends. He's just – he's a, he's a star. And uh, he actually had Kentucky there uh, online watching him. Obviously, I can't be there, but they were one of the schools that fought the live stream this weekend. Um, the next one, I've been doing the um, scouting stuff for about 11 years now. Felix Akpara for EAB – is about as good of a shot blocker as I think I've seen. Six foot 11, long as can be. He's mobile, so he can kind of chase you down and block your shot too. And um, he, it's just impossible to get a shot up over him. And offensively, he's not all the way there yet. But, you know, every you know, couple months you see him, he's, it's, he's making progress. So um, I have hope that he can continue to become a really good player. Um, another big guy who played really well all weekend is uh, Team Curry's big man, Jonas I do. Probably over the last three or four weeks, he started to get off some like Marquette, Alabama, South Carolina. He already had like Houston and Providence. So he's becoming a pretty hot commodity. And another guy, same deal, like just a 6'11", 7-foot raw dude, but just keeps getting better and better. He's making threes now. Um, he had a really, really good weekend. And lastly, I would say is another local guy, Ja'Shawn Holt, who's actually at St. Francis, won a state championship this year. Now he's playing with Team Dickerson. A 6'5 wing, um, really, really shooting it well now is uh, ball handling gets better every single time out. Um, he'll defend. He'll stick his nose in there on rebounds. He's just – he's an easy guy to blend in your team because he's not a guy that you always have to run plays for. He's not a guy you always have to put the ball in his hand. So um, he just keeps getting better and better. And he's got schools like Georgia, Georgia Tech, Xavier, Alabama, and just uh, Wake Forest. Miami have offered him recently. So he's become a pretty hot commodity too. So, I mean, it's, it, like you said, it's hard to pare down to those five guys. But uh, – it's the, I mean, those would be the five of the guys that stood out to me. I could go on and on for probably another hour if you needed me to. Well, the good news is if you want to go back and watch these performances or any of the performances from Late Point Live Showcase 2, you can do it with Late Point Live powered by PlaySite. Head over to LatePointSports.com for more info. And be sure you're following Dan on Twitter at RivalsDan and give the Late Point Hoops account a follow at Late Point Hoops on Twitter for everything happening on campus. Dan, thanks for the time. Thanks for having me on, Corey.